All right, eighth graders, this is to help you with question five on CR 14. It says, in this figure, L1 and L2 are parallel, and lines L3 and L4 are parallel. What is the measure of X? So we're looking for angle X. Okay, I'm going to, this is the angle we're actually looking for. I'm going to take the angle we're given right here. This is, I know, 120 degrees. What I'm going to do is I'm going to translate that angle. I'm going to slide that angle right to here. I can see it's an angle that's greater than 90. If I slide it to this spot, it's the same measure. It's still 120 degrees. That angle right there is still 120 degrees. Now I'm just going to slide it down here. This angle right here is still 120 degrees. That 120 degree angle, if I slide it to this spot, and then I slide it down to this spot, it's still 120 degrees. Now we fall back on something we learned last year. These two angles together form a straight line. You know two angles that form a straight line have to add up to 180 degrees. These are called supplementary angles. So I know 120 degrees plus angle X has to equal 180 degrees. Together, they make a beautiful straight line. In a straight line is 180 degrees. Those are supplementary angles. You learned about that last year as seventh graders. All right, so now I'm just going to solve this equation for x. I'm going to subtract 120 from the left side of the equal sign, which means I need to subtract 120 from the right-hand side of the equal sign. Bye-bye, 120s. There we have x equals 180 minus 120 is 60 degrees. So that's 60 degrees. 120 plus 60 gives me a total of 180. All right, I hope that helps.